Hello, my name is Aiden Gill, owner of Aiden Gill for Men Barbershop Haberdashers in New Orleans, Louisiana. Today we're going to talk about the history of the barbershop, the barber pole, and the history of the barber surgeons. So stay with us. We have genuinely made a huge effort, and I personally made a huge effort, for 30 plus years to restore and bring back barbershops in America. Now as far as history tells us, men have been shaving for thousands and thousands of years. In the early days of, of primitive men, they used obsidian blade. Obsidian is a natural occurring quartz, it's a very sharp edge. The Romans, the Greeks shaved. Alexander the Great ordered his troops to start shaving and cut off their beards because in battle, a lot of the time, the great thing to do is to grab a guy by the beard and then you've dispatched him very easily. The information on surgery and anatomy had been stored and practiced by monks in monasteries. They did the minor surgeries, they practiced it, but there weren't enough of them, so they found a body of men out in the community who would be able to do this. And that group of men were the barbers of the day. And because there were so many barbers, they basically amalgamated and took over surgery. And the small group of surgeons was overwhelmed, and the group became the barber surgeons. In the barber shops, when they were letting blood or doing uh, minor surgeries, they would give people uh, basically a rod, a pole, a red pole that they would hold onto and grip during these frighteningly you know, painful procedures. And afterwards, they would put the pole outside the premises and they would wash the bandages that they had used during the bloodlettings and so on. And the bandages would be drying on this red pole and the word is that they would flap in the breeze and wrap themselves around the pole. At the same time, the bowl that they had used for the bloodletting, they would rinse it out and basically hang it on top of this pole. So the image from 100 yards down the street was a red pole, white stripes, with a small dome on top. And this evolved over the centuries to what we see today as a modern barber pole. This is a small sample of the entire collection of razors, but it's a good sort of overview of how razors developed, all the way up until what most people consider to be old-fashioned shaving, which is the straight razor, or as it was called in Europe, the cutthroat razor, for obvious reasons. And this is the first design style of a safety razor. This was made and patented in around the 1890s. And it was an improvement upon the straight razor because it did actually have a guard and an angle to it. So shaving became easier. And I want to make this absolutely clear. The modern multi-blade razors are far, far superior to anything that has come before. And anyone who may think otherwise is mistaken. This was a personal mission for me to recreate and capture and, and basically save the barbershop from extinction. I have collected far too many barber chairs in my life, according to my wife. However. I think I've probably collected about 50 so far, going back from, the, from about 1860 to 1960. I think we've covered 100 years of barber chair development. Our chairs, our back bar, our mirrors, everything that we have we rescued from destruction out there in the barbershop world is real and old, and we still use the same chairs that were used 100 years ago. I had no idea that the world would just suddenly one day, very recently, every guy wanted to be in a barbershop. And I'm glad to see that it's happening all over America and all over Europe, that the barbershops are making a comeback, and that unisex is a word that we will bury one of these days for all for good.